Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to show you how to share videos, pictures, files, documents, you name it. Any file that you've got stored in a folder or an entire folder, how to share it with people, whether it's, you know, friends, colleagues, outside of an organization, utilizing OneDrive or SharePoint. And the beauty of this is these folders and files could be huge. They could be a gigabyte, two gigabytes, 10 gigabytes, etc. But only use this for legal reasons. This is not about share, sharing music files that you don't own the rights to or videos that you don't own the rights to. So use it for a legal purpose before, before we carry on. So in a minute, we're going to switch to computer mode so that you can see the steps from start to finish. Welcome to part two of this video. In this section, we're going to talk about how to share a file or folder in OneDrive or SharePoint. Now the process is virtually the same, regardless of if it's OneDrive or SharePoint. Now to do it using the online method, first of all, we need to have some files and folders. So I've created a temporary folder and here's a folder called test one. And in here, we're gonna create a Word document. So test document one. And we'll close that and then that will save in that same test document area. And then we'll create an Excel file as well. Test Excel one by automatically closing the tab, the file is saved in Office 365. So if you want to share files ind independently, you can tick on them and there's an option here called share. Now here you've got an option that you can give people access to edit a document or you can give them just the ability to read the document so so that they just view the document um, but this is great for sharing documents whether it's internally or externally as well where you have to work on the same document so you don't have to deal with email documents left right and center so anyone with the link allow editing on or off um, and this bit's very useful where you can say when you want it to expire um, so i'm just going to set it for a week's time um, and we could put a password on the document as well and then apply um, and you can put somebody's name in put a message and they get an email with the information to access the document or you can copy a link and manually email somebody if you've got other things to say in the email then that makes sense but likewise you can use this button here so I'm just going to click copy link for a second and then we're going to copy that link I'm going to just put it to one side and then that is the Excel file now I'm going to share this folder as well and by sharing a folder you're sharing everything inside the file in, inside the folder sorry so click share Similar things to before, 
I'm just going to untick editing um, and I'm going to just set the expiry date slightly different on this one to just in one day's time. Click apply, copy link, I'm going to mark make a note of this folder file. So what I need to do is to prove this works, I need to open a second web browser. So I'm going to open Edge in in private browsing mode. So I'm not logged into Office 365. So when I go to office portal.office.com you can see it's asking me to log in. But now I'm going to open the Excel file using the link that I had earlier. Um, and what you don't see at the moment, which I'm just going to bring the window about a bit down, is it says it's in viewing mode, so I can't edit the document. Um, so I didn't give that permission on that link. So next, I'm going to open a new tab. And Okay, so we've got a new tab open and this time we are going to access the folder we had open. So here you can see we've got my files temp test one and this one will allow me to access the Excel document but if I go back I can also access a Word document which I didn't share. Because I shared the folder this file is being shared as well. So that's the simplest way to share files and folders using Office 365. You can also do this using the OneDrive software on your computer. Um, the process is the only difference with the process is you have to right click on the folder and there's an option called share whether you're on Windows or Mac um, but if you do it this way the process is exactly the same on app on on Apple devices and Windows devices and even Chromebook devices if you're using the web browser if you have any questions about this drop drop them below um, otherwise we'll take you to part three of the video thank you welcome back now we hope you found this useful if you did give us a thumbs up if you didn't give us a thumbs down and if you want to find out more videos like this please click on the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner thanks for watching and have a great day